So of course, today everyone, is April 1st, new month, right? So I wanna go in and make a list about the top 10 best black character in anime. I mean, obviously, like my whole... I would say I'm the biggest expert, right, on these kind of characters, 100%. So let's get started on top 10 black characters. So number 10, Ayu, Taisu Saburai. So first of all, this is an anime that I feel I am the only person ever seen, right? So Ayu is the waitress, the clerk, at grandma's barber. She's a really nice, sweetheart character, right? I mean, seriously, this anime is a really nice, sweetheart of a character. So she's like the perfect character anime about a guy that lost his wife and early and has to raise his daughter by himself, right? And little help with grandma that, and Ayu, right? So Ayu is just like a really nice character. So I wish more people would see this anime, right? and experience the sweetheart waitress that is Ayusha. Of course, she's intuitive, intelligent, but she's kind of like the smartest character in the show, you know, cunning, smart, manipulative, I suppose, right? But, you know, she'll have a click up her sleeves, and she really help. And she's gonna add it. Well, if you've seen my previous videos, you know I have a giant life-size figure of Erina Saba, but Nikumi, though, it's also a pretty cool character. So number nine, Ikumi or Nikumi. So Nikumi we call her one huge power for certainly. She's one fun character, right? She's, uh, you know, totally in love with the main character, Soma-kun. And, you know, who doesn't love a, who doesn't love a Sundre, right? So Nikumi is, um, I guess, like a secondary love interest, right, for the main character. It's also Megumi that as well, right, for Soma. So every now and then was obviously the main rival slash main love interest, right? But Nikimu can come in as her sidekick, right? That goes to Soma instead. And I don't think one of the best part straight up is honestly. It's going to Soma after he defeats Nikimi and then she joins him to do like the Karaga arc and so on, right? She becomes this cool supportive character, right? And the whole concept of she's like, oh, I'm a beef girl, right? <laughs> I'm a sweaty with my clothing and he's, he's frying everything. So, and the thing is like, my family owns the Kobe beef A5 or something. And all my meat is perfect. And, you know, she's a very meaty girl, right? And it's hilarious. The whole concept of her being like, oh, I'm a meat freak. <laughs> That's why we call me Nick. And so I was freaking out, you know, when someone makes fun of her and so on. Yeah. <laughs> and she's loving him. And he's like, here comes a character is way too hot and get character in her anime completely pushed in the wrong anime rank rank with this badass hot chick right super thirsty and honestly she's in one of the worst anime of all time <laughs> seriously she's put she's number eight here but she's genuinely in like an incredibly bad anime I mean, every single with Ranko is top 10 out of 10 man like seriously <laughs> so yeah she's a great character a right? really cool woman badass a fighter lady very very thirsty of course you like the thirst right you can probably see where this is going here but um, it is you know honestly she's in like genuinely one of the worst animes i've watched in my life incredibly bad anime but she really brings up every scene right and all the other female characters are not compared to her uh, the main girl is nothing she's the best friend of the main girl, the main girl is not compared to Ranko. so yeah if you go on my Discord channel, say, I mean, you know, Ranko is my avatar and PvP, you know, you know I love not Ranko. Number seven, who's hiding behind the sensor? I think I'm on a character now that a lot of people love, seriously, right? And I think people agree with me, this character has to be on the list. And, I mean, honestly, I think more or less the list going up now is gonna be like 8 out of 10 or 10 characters, right? So, here's a very popular black character. Hibana, of course. Princess Hibana! Oh, the massive, the captain of the fire team, right, with the cool fire team, the lovable Mitai. <laughs> this is a great character. She goes eventually falls in love with the main character. I mean, it's pretty anime, cliche, right? You know how it goes. Yeah, what, what are you here for? It's like, uh, not, not because I like you or anything. The door was the next thing, though. It's like, is that your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, he's mad. Yeah, we're getting a hot chick, man. How did he pick up this amazing girlfriend? And she's the captain of the fifth. And she's all like, no, I don't like it. So, I mean, Hibana is an incredible hot character, right? But she's a command of the fifth team, and... I mean, by far, of course, the best female character in four and five, of course. Uh, maybe not a massive challenge to get, given that they have uh, me no idea. I dropped my clothes, and... Well, actually, I, I, do I, I, I kind of like Maki, though. Muscular Maki is pretty cool, too. Yeah, if you like really ripped chicks, Ma uh, Maki is a cool character as well. But, um, yeah, the other character not really much, right? She's like badass commander lady, cool fire thing. It's kind of fun as a side note. In the Isekai Mama anime, there's another female character. There's almost exactly like Ibana and acts just like her. 
And she's been like, Shane's Isekai made it look like that. And she had the same throne of like men and so on, and the same tertiary level. So it's like, it's kind of funny because I seriously think that that anime copied Hibana. I think so. I think what is afterwards, and it's exactly the same. But yeah, very popular character. What do you guys think? I think she definitely deserves to be at least in number seven. So now, for number six, we go for a character you probably haven't heard about. It's a very good character, and she's in one of the best ads of all time. Her name is, is Sonne Jorve. And this then um, is the best friend of the president of Savage Girl in Season. And she's a really, really good character. And I want to have to spend a little bit of this anime itself, right? To also motivate her as a character, first of all, I guess. But she's like a really, really sweet character. Which the president first hates, right? The thing with Sonne eh, is that she comes off as... How do I say it? So in this anime, right? Savage Girl in Season. Which is a very, very good anime. About five girls trying to get the boyfriend or whatever. The breakout story... As the first of all, it's the president story. So the club president of these five girls, uh, it has the best storyline by far. As her and her boyfriend and so on, and she gets bullied a lot in the beginning of her storyline. But who, who then the girl support of course is then of course your your son, right? It's her like bestie eventually. First she first she's like oh she's a pretty girl, she's a popular girl, she's not bullying me and and so on. Right? So I, I think it's actually one of the best written dynamic of a relationship, yet speaking, because. Again then, so the main character, right, first hates this woman, right? She thinks that she's just bullying her. She's oh, she's being mean to me, everyone's bullying me. She's just, you know, playing me for a fool or whatever, right? But she's actually, but seeing as she's just a genuinely nice person. But she's just like, no, she's trying to trick me. She's trying to, she's trying to give me food, or she's trying to poison me, you know? Because she's so, uh, yeah, the main character is just so, uh, I'll say it, vindictive or mistrust people and so on, right? And, it, you know, it puts off so nowhere. She actually gets a boyfriend, right, because... By befriending so on, yeah? because so on doesn't quit, right? She keeps like, come on, let's be friends or whatever. I'm sorry about the happening for you and so on. And she just keeps, keeps being the sweetest girl ever. And then eventually, President's like, oh, wait, actually, this woman is nice to me. Like, genuinely a nice person. Maybe we should be friends, right? And then, of course, she can open up to get a boyfriend and so on as well, right? So she's the one that actually makes the storyline work. Because, again, five men, this main character, this is the best storyline. And it is because she kind of breaks into her and, like, let's be best friends, right? <laughs> Forces her into be her bestie. And then, you know, that gives growth. It, it gives a massive growth, right? She also ends up, for that matter, being a pregnant teenage mom, though, in the end of the anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all about five girls trying to get it on, right? And she's the winner. She's the sixth girl. <laughs> but seriously, the other five girls, they eventually get it on. But this one actually wins them. Yeah, she's the only one who got a baby in the end of the, end of the anime. It's that episode. You see, you're sending this f uh, image of the person being like, oh, I'm, I just gave birth. <laughs> so, it is an interesting cat test. She quit school then because teenage pregnancy, so... Highly recommended. Number six, Sonu Yiro. Muscles! Du, 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 du. Musket, musket, muscles! Of course, time for Hibiki Shan. You know all that Hibiki is on the poster head, right? And first of all, it's number five is a Hibiki. But, as you see, I feel right, right, it's her first role. Now she's one of the biggest stars in anime. And I said it here, back down, right? This was airing, I was like, oh my god, this voice actress, this Seiyu doing Hibiki. She's gonna become one of the top 10 most in a few years. I called it back then, and I was, called, I was completely right. And she incorporated Hibiki so well, too. But yeah, whatever. Hibiki, of course. Amazing anime. One of my, one of my first anime, you know, muscle training anime. Love it. Relatable. Cute. But Hibiki is just a fun character, right? You know? She's just an eccentric, funny, horrible character. You know, muscular, hot training, and <laughs> delirium. Like, you not love this doofus, right? No, but she's super, super funny. I still think she's one of the funniest dark. <laughs> yeah, this incredibly funny black character. Jesus Christ, man. Probably the funniest character on this list, I'd say. Because after this list, right? You know, number five now. After now, this is called me, guys. There's some badass character coming, right? But yeah, he became super funny. Super good anime. Actually, a seriously educational anime, right? Teaching about different moves, different methods of training, and so on. But, and I think one thing is important of Hibiki too, and what's high on the list here, is because she really carries her anime. Now, the other characters are pretty fun too, right? But, you know, Dumbo is an anime, but she is clearly the center of the anime, right? And it's a more common the anime, is the main character isn't as important. Uh, or, I think a split, right? You know, for example, I talked about earlier, right? Uh, Savage Girls, there's like five different main characters, so no one's really carrying the anime. But Hibiki really is a hardcore character, right? And I, I kind of get both for that as well, I feel, where the main character is just an important part. So honestly, now we're in the top four, right? And I say it here, two, three, and four are all like 15, 20, I don't know, like 20, 20 out of characters, right? You know, I love these characters, 
I have them all, I have figures of them, I have posters of them. This is uh, something I collect <laughs> quite heavily, right? Of beautiful dark skin black characters and of course. But I had to think about it for a while, and I guess even though she's my biggest poster next to my... <laughs> uh, I have to put number four for a course. Ghislaine Sama! Oh, look at this. An amazing wife. Ghislaine is amazing. You know how much I love her. So you know I love Ghislaine, right? She's an amazing character. And like I said, two, three, four here. They're all like 20 out of 10 characters for me, right? And I really struggle with picking them. But at least below for the shirt I made years ago, right? When I have a shirt made with this kind, the main focus like Ghislaine. And then, of course, number two and number three is <laughs> here. all the cast is, man, right? You know what I'm talking about. So, you know, I worship Kiss Lane. It's an amazing, cool character. And I think from a pure physical aspect, she's probably the coolest looking character in this list, right? And honestly, the only reason I put her only number four is because she basically is non-existing, right? And potentially going after the one, right, you know? But far the coolest character in the anime has no screen time, right? Now, the anime is coming back this week, so I hope she has way more screen time. But I think it's that, honestly, I have to admit it, I think Ghislaine, again, is the best looking character. But her personality is basically just physical, hot, thirsty, you know, waifu, dark skin character right there. She is a little bit, doesn't have too much story aspect of it. With the other two characters, are much important for the storyline. And I also have to give it to the winner then later on, right? Uh, what she did, so, a little hard list. But basically, you can say that the ultimate, coolest, hottest, uh, you know, cat girl lady ever, right? You know, freaking amazing character. Now, of course, this is a beloved character, and I struggle so hard on putting her on number three, which of course is Yurichi Sam. So, you know how much I love Yurichi, I think she's probably most people's number one, right? But and I have to say here, right? If, if I made this like 10 years ago, or when I was younger, right? Obviously, Yurichi is number one character, number one character in Bleach. Uh, yeah, like I said, if I did the list like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when I was younger, she would have won, right? But I think that the other character coming after her just has kind of overcome her, right? So, that, that's kind of the reason why, but. Of course, Yurichi, right? Coolest character. Amazing, cool ninja lady. Also, the best fights, right? You know, she's an amazing character, Soi Fong. And I think that when I grew up to, right, watching Bleach so much back in those days, this extra story on Umakes of uh, Soi Fong I was trying to get with her was so funny to me. <laughs> yeah, like Soi Fong's weird Yuri instead of Yurichi. I mean, they were fillers, I know, but they really made me love Yurichi so much even more. Yeah, Yurichi is like an OG badass, right? And I think, like, like I said, for many years, she probably was my favorite female character in anime. Probably like for 10 years, plus at least. Uh, I think so, seriously, right? Like from the early 2000 to... Yeah, so she's of course up there, right? An amazing character. And, uh, you know, she does everything in the show as well, right? You know, she's the, the wise leader. She's a comedy character. She's a badass fighter. If anything, she's kind of OP, right? Because she does kind of everything. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, though, I will say that Titi Kubi gets a too little screen time, though, in the last arc. But, you know, in, in, in the earlier arcs, right? Especially, of course, the, the best arc, which still is the society arc, you know? Uh, not to be a Bleach review here, but you know I love Bleach, but I think that Bleach is still the best in the beginning, right? And when we debate, like, what is the best short in anime, is it the Naruto, is it One Piece or whatever, right? Especially if you debate in the beginning, I always think Bleach is the best one, the first 66 episode the society arc, right? And then, of course, Yurichi is one of the main characters there, leading the cat in there, fighting, teaching them how to fight and all this stuff, right? So she's the most, like, you know, the most important character in the dark, right, as a supporting character to the, to the main cast, right? And, you know, kind of, she kind of fulfills that classic, like, that was the fun character, she fulfills this classic, like, wise elder man, right? A lot of party members, she's a Gandalf, right? There is the Gandalf, actually, of Bleach, but she's a hot Gandalf, right? <laughs> yeah, because it has this old man, vo old man voice, right? Which is a cat form. And you kind of see her as this, you know, wise old man, teaching them how to use a bunker or whatever, right? And then when she's going to fight suddenly, she's a super hot, attractive wife. You're like, yeah! <laughs> so it's, uh, she got it all, man. She got it all, man. Uh, been one, of, one of my favorite anime characters for, like, I don't know, the last 20 years, right? I freaking love you, Rich. Now, you probably figure who's going to beat her, right? Now, that's called Miracle Shot. So Miracle, of course, the best character in Academia. What can you say, right? She's, of course, she's the best dark skin character in anime. Straight up, right? Jesus Christ, man. How could you not love this scene, right? <laughs> Look at your smile there. Yeah, this is the best scene in Academia, 100%, right? And I hate that Hero could hurt the miracle all the time. You know how happy I was seeing her in the trailer like last week. I mean, an amazing character coming back here. Must like a cyborg or something, but you know, I had to think about it. Like I said, Yurichi is like my old love, right? Miruko is my new love. Uh, it's a little bit like that, right? But I think that Luhe losing her arm and leg and so on made me love her even more, right? <laughs> but no, Miruko is like an incredible badass character. And that actually is probably a little bit of Yurichi's weakness, I have to say. I mean, I love Yurichi, but Miruko. I think the author, though, has a little too much rough on her, but, but, but even ignoring that, 
I feel that Yurichi is too easy, probably. You know what I mean? Yurichi is a badass, super ninja, intelligent, everything as I mentioned, right? But Miruko has a little bit more of like, well, as is sometimes she's in trouble, you know? So I think that makes her a little bit more of a whole character. She struggles more. Of course, I keep asking why she's the main character for. <laughs> why is none of this the main character for? But uh, honestly, I, I hate this so much, man. Why aren't Miruko, why aren't like Yurichi or whatever the actual main character is Mangan Animes? With so much better. Uh, but overall, incredible character, right? Badass. By far the most badass waifu in anime, probably. Uh, the only one that I think we could, you know, fight her is uh, Melona, right? And then we finally get that Melona scene, uh, which has been animated yet, which is also very brutal. Uh, who, let, let's see it, right? But like I said, right, I made this, I mean, I make a lot of my own fan stuff, right? And I made this shirt, which of course is like a Miracle Grizzly in Yurichi Melona shirt, right? So you know, you know where I'm coming from. You know where I'm coming from, guys. But anyway, who's the winner then? Of course, the most black character in anime. You know what it is? It's Piccolo Saba. <gasps> Makes a lot of sense. But yeah, Piccolo, of course. Anime's greatest dad. You see? What a wholesome character. So yeah, Piccolo, right, is number one, of course. You know, he's the best black cat that's ever been, right? And um, I will say that I always love Piccolo. Uh, I mean, sure, who doesn't like Goku? But I think I always like Piccolo more, right? Especially when he raised Gohan. That when he really started to change the character. And everything with him afterward is just amazing. Right? Now, that being said, you, you know I like C18 the most of the Dragon Ball characters. But uh, no, Piccolo is probably my favorite character. Oh, the more Vegeta. He's a cool character too, right? But he's no Piccolo, man. So, yeah, I'm happy that Piccolo is black, man. He's just a great black character. Uh, but overall, what can I say, right? Piccolo is the probably the quintessential classic, like, defeat means friendship, right? Where, with other characters, the same thing. Obviously, Vegeta as well. And so on. I mean, Yamcha and so on, right? And Dragon Ball is like all of them. But in he's kind of like the classic character that really, you know, oh, he raises his enemy's son and so on. Where Vegeta is just like, I guess he's an ally later, right, you know, but he doesn't actually do anything for Goku, he fights with him, right, he doesn't actually do anything like teaches the moves or whatnot, right. So Piccolo is, I think he actually is a very important character, because like I said, he is really is that, that classic, like, oh, you defeated me, that means we are like friends now or some kind of allies now or whatever, I will teach your son, right, because that this kind of tropey character has become a very classic Cast now in Shonen. Right? Obviously, a lot of stuff that was in Dragon Ball is, of course, tropes today. I mean, obviously, because of the biggest Shonen end for time, right? But still, though, I think that Piccolo really brings out that like, classic fit with friendship more than Vegeta, I think so, much more actually. And then, you know, probably has the most character development, right, in the anime. People are saying Vegeta, but I don't really see that at all because, yes, he changed it from being good or like egg. And he probably also has the most character development, right, of all the characters. Sure, people are over Vegeta, but Vegeta is like goes from evil to good and slightly less mean to people. But Piccolo does the exact same thing and also then becomes a parent and becomes God and stuff and so on. So way more character development uh, than Vegeta, right? Uh, but anyway, hope you the video, guys. Please subscribe, press the like button, and check. And but anyway, I hope you like the video, please subscribe, press the like button, right? Because we have all the new animes coming out here in April. So today we have Spice and Wolf coming later, right? There's a bunch of new animes coming, you know, Konosuba, Mushu Tenshi, of course, mentioned earlier, so I'm really happy that you guys have a great day.